Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, bida ang agham. Let's have another trivia. Alam nyo ba na ang paborito nyong gulaman ay gawa sa algae? If you didn't, now you know. Ang gulaman ay ang Filipino word for the English term agar-agar, a gum extracted from red algae. Species belonging to Gracilaria and Gelidium are common sources of edible red algae. Let's explore more about them in our Shensha Amazing episode about algae. You commonly hear this term as algae, but this is actually pronounced as algae. Algae are eukaryotic and photosynthetic organisms. They are eukaryotic in a sense that they have DNA enveloped in a nucleus and they have membrane-bound organelles in their cells. They are photosynthetic because some of them have chloroplasts and they can produce their own food. There are five major groups of algae. Depending on the dominant pigment they produce, we have green algae, brown algae, red algae, golden algae or diatoms, and dinoflagellates. Let's start with green algae. Green algae are green because they are dominated by chlorophyll A and B, which is the same type of chlorophyll found in higher plants. Kaya kaya nilang magphotosynthesize. Most green algae ay nasa fresh water. We have some examples. We have chlorella, which is a single-celled alga. Na familiar sa atin because we have heard of the term chlorella growth factor, CGF, na pampatangkad. Scientists have actually backed up this claim. And now, alam na natin na ang CGF ay galing sa green algae. Another example of green algae is the filamentous spirogyra. They are filamentous because ang kanyang cells ay naka-arranged one after another, forming a thread-like body or filament. Our next algal group is the brown algae. Why are they brown? They are brown because they contain the pigment fucosanthin. The multicellular brown algae are all marine. Ibig sabihin nito, lahat sila ay nakatira sa sea water. The largest alga, the kelp, and sargassum belong to this group. These two are commonly seen sa seashores. For example, sargassum is a brown seaweed na makikita natin sa tabing dagat. Next, punta naman tayo sa red algae. Bakit ba sila color red? They are red because they are dominated by the red pigment phycoerythrin. As to their habitat, the red algae are mostly marine and a few are fresh water. For example, we have porphyra, which is deep red in color, and glacilaria, which is used to make our favorite gulaman. Another major group of algae are the golden algae or diatoms group. Why are they golden? Because they contain the yellow pigment santophyll or the orange pigment carotene. Meron silang iba't ibang shapes and designs. Ano ba ang halimbawa ng mga golden algae or diatoms? First, we have Primnisium parvum. This is actually a toxin-producing golden algae that causes harmful algal blooms na magresulta sa mga fish kill. Another example is Pinularia. And if you can notice, these two 
have yellow pigments and are rightfully called golden algae. Our last major group is composed of dinoflagellates. Ang mga dinoflagellate ay brown because they contain the brown pigment phocosanthin. Pero, in addition to that, they also have two flagella. For example, sa dinoflagellate na ito, we can notice these two flagella. Yung isang flagella is free, yung nasa baba. While the other flagella encircles the cell, nasa taas, in the groove. Dahil sa dalawang at equal na flagella na ito, ang movement ng dinoflagellates ay spiraling and they spin like a top. This dinoflagellate is called pyrodinium bahamensi, which actually displays bioluminescence when agitated. They glow blue. You can see pyrodinium bahamensi in action in this scenario. The seashore is lighted up with blue colors because of the bioluminescence of this dinoflagellates. If you want to see this kind of scene, you can go to Puerto Rico and the Bahamas. Kung merong mesmerizing view na nadudulot ang ilang mga dinoflagellates, meron din silang harmful na mga effects. For example, this one. This is a goniolax. They are harmless kapag konti pa lang sila. Pero kapag marami ng goniolax ang nag-occupy sa isang body of water, it can cause red tides. A red tide is the discoloration of the seawater caused by too much algae kung saan ang mga algae na ito ay umuubos sa oxygen in the water causing some animals like fishes to die. Kaya nagkakaroon ng fish kill. It can also release toxins that may cause illness in humans and other animals. At dahil maraming sea creatures ang kumakain ng mga algae, including this gunyolax, pwede nitong mapasa ang toxin from the gunyolax to that animal and to us humans. Kaya pag meron ng red tide na warning, you should be careful of these types of food. Mag-ingat tayo sa shrimp, tahong, and clams because these filter feeding organisms accumulate the harmful dinoflagellates and it may cause poison to the person who eats it. Kagaya ng ibang organisms, mahalaga din ang algae. For example, we have phytoplanktons. Phytoplanktons are actually the major oxygen producers and they produce about 80% of the Earth's supply of oxygen. They produce more oxygen than trees. They also serve as food source sa ibang mga aquatic organisms. Pwede silang kainin ng whales, shrimps, snails, and jellyfish. Then algae can also be a source of food. For example, gulaman. Gulaman is made of red algae, specifically those belonging in the genus Glacilaria. They can also be used as culture medium. Sa mga laboratory, we use medium in order to grow bacteria and other microorganisms. At dito po pasok ang major role ng algae. Another importance of algae is in the manufacture of food. For example, an extract from red algae called carrageenan is used to make ice cream and yogurt. It's good time! I will give you 3 minutes to answer this short quiz. After 3 minutes, we will check.
Time's up! Tingnan natin kung makaka-perfect ba kayo. Number 1. Chlorella has CGF that helps increase height. It is an example of blank. It is a green algae. Number 2. The largest alga, calx, is A or N blank. Ano ulit yun? Nakikita natin sa mga seashores. Those are members of brown algae. Number three, they contain pigment, xanthophyll, and keratin, making them golden in color. These are golden algae. Number four, this algae is dominated by phycoerythrin. Ano ulit yung phycoerythrin? This gives the reddish color among red algae. Number five, these organisms are mainly responsible for red tides. Hindi red algae ang sagot. Marami ang nalilito dahil red tide di ba? Baka red algae yung sagot. Pero hindi. The correct answer is dinoflagellates. Again, dinoflagellates cause red tides. We want to know your score. Kindly comment your scores in the comment section below. That ends our Shansha Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!